What up, it's your boy T V on reaction to Days from Friday. So as the first five says for this month, as this month is Black History Month, I saw the review from um video based on um I forgot the name of the channel one more time. Um give me a second. The channel um Black Culture Explained, though, I've been doing videos about black exploitation films. So we're going to continue with that, though. We're going to take a look at the top leading late top leading ladies of the black exploitation films, you know. You know, black exploitation was that, like I said, was the uh, gateway for black black actors and actresses to get their little foot in the door as well, too. Get their, and get their shine on as well, too. And more, the body has some leading men, such as uh, Richard Roundtree, uh... Fred Williamson, saying, um, who we got, um, Isaac Hayes, Isaac Hayes, uh, what's the name, Ron Neal, Rudy Ray Moore, and many others, as well, too, it was some ladies who were not only eye candy and beautiful, but action pack and bad man pajamas, as well, too, so we're gonna take a look at the top five female-led black exploitation movies, and, and they, oh, sorry, I ain't write it wrong. So we're gonna check out the ones that was led by the females who, while the men ran, ran led the movies such as Shaft, Dolomite, uh, Superfly, The Mac, and uh, Black Caesar, and many others. Well, we have some ladies who, we have some films led by ladies. One of them being only by the the one and only uh, one and only sex symbol of the seventies, Pam Greer, and many, and many others, including um, Tamara Dobson and. And a few good others. So we're gonna check out a look at top five female led black exploitation movies of all time. Let's get it. Today we're turning the spotlight on a groundbreaking chapter in film history, the world of female led black exploitation cinema. These films bursting with style, action, and unapologetic flair, not only entertain but also challenge and change the narrative around African American women in the nineteen seventies. Join us as we count down the top five female lead black exploitation. And these are the ladies who uh, paved the way for a lot of action packed ladies and lead rules, well, too. Rules of two going forward, likes of, um, um, I can't think of any right now, I'll be honest. The likes of, um, well, you'll, you get what I mean. So anyway, I, can't think, I know some, some, some female led action ladies as well too in the black black film but I just can't think of any right now. I know one is uh Taraji with Proud Mary, um Queen Latifah with Equalizer and um many others. So anyway let's get it. Films that captivated audiences, defied stereotypes, and left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Get ready for a journey filled with action, empowerment, and iconic moments that continue to inspire filmmakers and audiences alike to this day. Number five. First up, we have two classics starring the iconic Pam Greer, Coffee from 1973 mm -hmm. and Foxy Brown from 1974, mm. both directed by Jack Hill. Five. These films are often mentioned together because of their similarities. Yep. In Coffee, Greer plays a nurse going undercover to dismantle a drug cartel, while in Foxy Brown, she's on a similar mission, but this time she's avenging her boyfriend. Greer's commanding presence and charisma makes these films unforgettable. A fun fact about the amazing Pam Greer is that she's had a brush in with death more than once. Wow. The first time Greer had a near death experience as a child, she suffered from a severe case of tonsillitis and was Ooh. pronounced dead in an emergency room before miraculously Whoa. reviving. In the second time in 1988, when Greer was diagnosed with stage four cervical cancer mm. and was given only 18 months to live. She defied the odds and survived, becoming an advocate for cancer awareness and prevention. And her still battle doing, with cancer and her journey to recovery is and a still and still doing strong where acting. Testament to her strength and resilience. Number four. Next we have Cleopatra Jones mm -hmm. from 1973, directed by Jack Starrett. This film is a black exploitation take on James Bond, featuring Tamara Dobson as a slick secret agent. Unlike other protagonists in the genre, Cleopatra Jones started off as a fearless agent, adding a unique twist to the typical black exploitation narrative. Fun fact, Tamara Dobson holds the record for the tallest leading lady in a film. Moving on to TNT Jackson from 1974, directed by Sirio Santiago. This film blends martial arts with black exploitation, starring Jeannie Bell as a kung fu master seeking revenge in Hong Kong. While the film has its flaws, That's it's why. an important piece in the history of the genre. And one fun fact about Miss Jeannie Bell. In 1969, Jeannie Bell became one of the first African-American women to appear in Playboy magazine. Mm. This appearance was groundbreaking at the time and it's helped to pave the way for more diverse alive. representation in the magazine. Number two. Look back, she, she still, I had to look her up. She's still alive, 72 years old, and still looks good. 
Like, I don't know if you can really get a picture, but and the camera get a good look up here, though, but if you can see that, she still looks good. As well, too, is she like she to keep herself in shape? Because she was, I guess she was a model, right? Because she's still keeping herself in shape as well, too. So nice. Anyway. Our next pick is Sugar here from 1974, mm. directed by... This was underrated as well, too. The one that plays her good was Paul Malansky. Too. This film adds a supernatural twist with Diana mm -hmm. Sugar Hill, played mm -hmm. by Marquis Bay. Using voodoo to avenge her boyfriend's death, it's a unique blend of horror and black exploitation that's definitely worth your time. Marquis Bay's acting mm -hmm. career was relatively brief. Mm -hmm. She retired from acting in the early 1980s, choosing to lead a more private life away from the spotlight. This decision makes her film and television work from the 1970s particularly cherished by fans of the genre. I want to look, yeah, she, that was, this was on her radar. I actually saw it one time. It was like, got to mix up with another, uh, with, it was like, it was, cause the same similar to another movie that was like, well, I should have hated though, Marquis Bay. And she still, and she's still alive too. And kicking as well at 76. Well, too, like I said, she's retired. I think it is, it is not too far. A recent, yeah, it was a recent pitch for her and um, the late Ray John Singleton. She still looks good as well, too. Number one. Last but not least, we have Darktown Strutters mm. from 1975. Directed by William Whitney, this film is a wild ride from start to finish, mixing absurd humor with surrealism. It follows Serena, played by Trina Parks, as she mm. investigates her mother's disappearance. It's a cult classic that stands out for its unique before. approach. Fun fact. Trina Parks made history with her yep. role as Thumper in 1971. That's what, that's what I thought she was. Diamonds of Forever. She was the first African American woman to be yep. featured as a Bond girl. Breaking. And she's still alive, 76 years old, and still look great as well, too. Significant racial barriers in mainstream cinema. Black don't crack. <laughs> These five films showcase the diversity and creativity of female led black exploitation cinema. They're not just entertaining, they're a crucial role with film history, highlighting the strength and resilience of African American women. Thanks for joining us on the cinematic journey. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. This Let is, us know what this female mother, and there's some other ones as well too, like um the other one with Pan Grant Friday, Friday Forrester, the one with um what was it uh sweet uh the the one with the like with was it three escapees as well too, three escapees I forgot what it's called uh Swiss, Swiss baby sister or something like that. I forgot it was black exploitation. Let me look at that up real quick. Black exploitation. Escapees. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember what that movie that's called. Um, can't think of the name of the movie. <laughs> that sucks. I can't think of the movie. <laughs> All right, hold on. No, sweep. The legend of Nick Charlie, really. Black Mama, White Mama. There we go. Yeah, Black Mama, White Mama. That's, that's another uh, good uh female led one as well too if you check that out as well too it's pretty cool as well too for those you know um and for my horror films fans there's one notable there's one notable um a uh, person uh actor who got his stuff in the black exploitation field too sick hayes you know best known for his role in the uh Rod zombies uh Films as well too, such as House of Thousand Courses, their region and Three from Hell. He's a he got his start in a lot of um uh, black exploitation films, films as well too. So yeah. Other than that, um, let me see if you can go. Black exploitation movie you love the best. Like, share, subscribe. Anyway, other than that, this was a good little video to check out as well too. So so if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.